As Ron DeSantis continues to fall in the polling, Nikki Haley is consolidating the Never Trump vote. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video and today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 Republican presidential primary because everyone it appears that Nikki Haley is consolidating the never Trump vote. Yeah, it appears that Nikki Haley is surging, aka going from 4% to like 7. And they're calling that a surge and they're calling it the end for Orange Man, the end for DeSantis and all that crap. But it is technically her going up, but that's not really saying much. But before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you could join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today all right everybody now let me be clear when i say haley's going up that doesn't mean you know oh it's a secret you know fact that nikki haley is gonna beat trump haley is still down by 50 points against trump however she is consolidating this never trump vote which doesn't make up that large share of the electorate I mean, I don't get why people think Never Trump is like half the GOP. It's like 10%. It's not half. Yeah, there are people that are saying we support DeSantis first, but a lot of them, their second choice is Trump. That doesn't mean they're never Trumpers. It just means, oh, I like DeSantis better, but I'll vote for Trump. Never Trumpers are like Chris Christie or Ass Hutchinson. So let's get into it. Two years after Nikki Haley vowed not to challenge Donald Trump for the nomination, the former South Carolina governor who served in his administration, it once called him a friend, is become the standard bearer of a movement to knock him out. Not just that, but flat out hate him. This never Trump coalition that Haley's putting together, they are terrible people to have back in you, financially and endorsement wise. Ah, uh, yes, the people that hate Trump's gut, hates his voters. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's a good idea we get them behind us and publicly make a big deal about it. And I just love the fact that Nikki Haley said, I was never going to challenge Trump. But suddenly she changed her mind. And well, she is challenging Donald Trump, despite saying in the past she wouldn't. What does it make, you, make her sound like to you? There's a word, but I'm not going to say it. All right, you can probably guess what that word is. In recent weeks, Haley has drawn a surge in support from Trump skeptical Republicans across the GOP, including donors and organizers in early voting states. A group of former Tim Scott donors is preparing to host a fundraiser for her in Manhattan. Haley's campaign events in New Hampshire this week required overflow rooms. And in Iowa, where Haley is steeper competition for Florida Governor DeSantis, some conservatives are busy correlating support for her. So they're trying to make it sound like that Haley is closing on Orange Man. She's barely closing on DeSantis. That's what's really happening. It is a battle for second place. A slap fight at best. They're not a threat to Trump. He's up by 40, 50 points. And there's just not enough never Trumpers to get Haley over the hump. There just isn't. And the problem with what Haley's campaign is saying about, oh, required overflow rooms in New Hampshire. You know what these campaigns do? We have overflow rooms. They purposely book a room with a 10 by 10 area, knowing there's no way in hell we're not going to not fill this room. There's going to be hundreds of people here, whatever. And then they say, see, it's an overflow room. Like, no crap. When you have more than five people in the room, it's overflowing. Of course it's going to be overflowing. They're trying to make it sound like that her support is huge. When in reality it's 10% at best. 
her support is not this huge 35% like they're trying to make it sound like it is. It's like 10% at best. Nikki Haley is certainly locking up a lot of Never Trumpers, said Matthew Barlett, a Republican operative who has worked on several presidential campaigns and is unaffiliated this cycle. She also has room, real room to grow. No, she doesn't. She may go up another 2 to 3%, but that's not enough. These people are making it sound like that she could go up 50 points tomorrow. She can't. Because guess what? A lot of DeSantis voters, a lot of Ramaswamy voters, their second choice for the primary is Trump. And not only that, Trump's already above 50% of most polling. So it doesn't matter. If you get every single undecided, if you're, let's say Trump's at 51%. All right, just an example. Haley mathematically cannot win with 49% of the vote. She can't. So there's room to grow. It's not enough. She may go up to second. That's best case scenario. Donors getting ready to host Haley in New York on December 4th include two people close to Paul Sainer, the hedge fund billionaire who has been critical of Trump. Greg Went, a former Scott supporter, has donated to moderate anti-Trump Republicans such as John Kasich and John McCain, is now expressing interest in Haley. According to a New York City-based fundraiser, and you get the point, it's the anonymous people that give anonymous tips. But they did the same thing with DeSantis. All these never-Trump big donors, oh, we're going to get behind DeSantis. He's going to beat Trump. How did that go? Now, a lot of people from the Tim Scott, the DeSantis campaigns imploding, all of them are now jumping on the Haley bandwagon. Those campaigns really did a good job. And Doug Gross, a Republican operative who was the Iowa GOP nominee for governor 2002, told Politico he planned a caucus for Haley after surveying the field for months in search of an alternative to Trump. Wow! Some guy I never heard of who was the GOP nominee for governor 22 years ago. That's surely going to turn the race around. Do these people think anybody give the rat's ass who Doug Gross is? I never even heard of the guy before. Never Trumpers and anybody but Trumpers are really consolidating around Haley from a financial standpoint, said Gross, who was chief of staff to former Iowa governor Terry Branstad. But guess what? Anybody but Trumpers? <laughs> That's, again, not enough of the electorate. And when you say anybody but Trumpers, are you talking about the ones that are currently not supporting him? Because if that's the case, you're just a moron. And it explains a lot. You're a GOP consultant or an operative. That explains everything. These operatives within the GOP are some of the dumbest people you'll meet. Because it's just factual. Half of DeSantis supporters, they said their second choice is Trump. Basically, all Ramaswamy support, their second choice is Trump. So, I don't get who cares what the big donors are doing. Who cares if the voters are saying, DeSantis is my first choice, but Trump's my second. You're screwed. Who cares financial standpoint? Didn't work for Tim Scott. It did not work for DeSantis. And it's not going to work for Nikki Haley. Haley's benefiting from his this recent surge of support. She's now pulling ahead of DeSantis to New Hampshire, the first primary state, and her home state of South Carolina. One recent survey showed her running neck and neck with DeSantis in Iowa. They're trying to make it sound like this is some close race with Trump. She's down by 30, 40 points. Congratulations. You're still getting walloped. Who cares if she's running neck and neck with DeSantis? Uh, I, I think it's funny, but it's like that... That's not going to give her the momentum she needs to win the nomination. Alyssa Farrah Griffin, ah, oh, her, a co-host of The View and former Trump White House aide who has been critical of the former president, described Haley on Tuesday as hands down the best option to beat Trump. That's a good endorsement. If these are the people backing Haley, 
That's like 1% of the electorate. The Griffins of the world, that is 1% of the electorate. Like absolutely deranged. They're leftists pretending to be Republicans that hate Trump. Still, Haley's running far behind the former president. And in a party he continues to dominate. Consolidating the anti-Trump vote is likely to get Haley only so far. In a still crowded primary, Haley's in some ways the latest manifestation of the challenge confronting all of them. Run hard against Trump and turn off those who stick by his side. Support him and lose desperate, lose those desperate for a different choice next year. These maroons, I... So what's the point of running? What's the point when you know you're down by 50 points? It's a lot of these old school Republicans who did not like Trump, but voted for him the first time with their fingers crossed and then refused to vote for him a second time. Sarah Longwell, an anti-Trump Republican, who routinely conducts focus groups of GOP voters, said of Haley's sweet spot in the primary electorate. Oh, bull crap! What percent of the electorate is that? Trump-Biden voters, that's like 1%. That's pushing it, by the way. It probably is only like 1% to 2%. Within the GOP primary, that's maybe 5%. I love she is conducting focus groups and she supports Haley man that's a, that's certainly a unbiased opinion but it's just like where do these people think they're gonna get votes from then because Haley's been awful targeting more wars with Iran war with China war with Russia that pisses off the Trump base so badly they're just not gonna vote for you and then when you also say, we need to have the government know everyone's identification on social media. Oh, that's certainly going to win over a bunch of young voters. What's the campaign strategy then? There isn't one. It's a grift. These morons, they either are liars, large chunk of them are, and they know that Haley has no shot, or... They're just as delusional, if not more, than DeSantis's people. But either way, folks, this never Trump vote, it's not enough. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.